Welcome friends. Uh, today EPCH is organizing seminar on this policy reduction with the effective logistic environment for enhancing export competence. Competence. And uh, today with us, uh, uh, Mr. Ashok Adwani, a leading uh, expert on the subject. He will give you the detailed presentation on the subject. Mr. Adwani, please. And I also request Mr. Ajay to present a welcome bouquet to Vani on behalf of EPC. Malcolm B. Mackey, 
more invented than Hegel. And uh, in one of the slides, his name is there. Uh, I'll take you through those. Malcolm B. Mackley was uh, born in Maxton, North Carolina, in the USA. And uh, he was born in 1914. And 1931, he graduated out of school. But during those days, uh, there was a great depression going on. And things were not good. So in 1931, he sort of dropped in studies. And he started filling up petrol at the gas stations. There they call it gas and we call it petrol. In three years, he saved enough money and he bought a trailer for himself. And that time it was $120. He bought a second hand trailer. Within three years, he earned enough money to be able to buy five trailers and get five drivers to drive for him. The only thing that he gave to the people there in Maxton where he stayed was guaranteed transit and guaranteed shipments and pickups with no damages. He went on with this, but again after two years, the businesses started dropping because of the depression. And he had to close down his trailers, park them, and he got behind the wheel. Once when he was behind the wheel, he went uh, from Fairville uh, to New Jersey, and he was carrying <coughs> He was carrying cotton bales. And he had to wait there for a full day because everything was manually loaded at that time. So the cotton bales used to be picked up one by one and put into the, you know, ships, uh, hatches. Hatches is the spaces in, in, the, in the ships. So he had to wait for a full day and he said, what a waste of time. I, I, I could have done so many trips by now. So he, he thought of a concept, he says, why can't we have a container which is kept on the trailer and that container is put on the ship. Now this was 37, 1937. His dream came true in 1956 after 19 years. Till then, he started growing his trucking business. Things started getting better. And uh, he had 1776 trucks by then, by early 1950. So within the space of, uh, say, 1937, 1950, 30 years, he built up from five trucks to 1776. He had 37 trailer hubs, his own stations, where he used to park the trailers and which used to take care of uh, not only parking but also servicing the trailers. He was the fifth largest in South America. Uh, the largest in South America and the fifth largest in the whole of America. And uh, then at that time, he decided to buy a shipping company. And he bought Pan Atlantic, which was later on named as Sealand Shipping. You all would have heard the name of Sealand. You might have seen some, still some containers of Sealand, which were later bought out by Musk. Musk bought it over. So he bought it then in 1950s at dollar seven million. You can imagine that was big money at that time. But then what happened is there was competition. And competition laws said that you can't have interest in conflicting businesses. So if you are doing trucking, you can't be owning a shipping company. You can do either one. So he decided to do away 75% of his trucking business. He sold that off for dollar six million and invested all this time in the shipping company. And in 1956, the first ship by the name of Ideal X, I D E A L X, sailed off from New Jersey to Houston with 56 containers on board. Everybody was saying that the containers will not reach Houston, water will seep in, the goods will get bad, and the consignees will never be happy. 
but nothing of that sort happened. The containers reached, they were taken off the ship, the goods were all intact, the customs examined it, and there started In India, it came much later. It came in the late 60s. And APL was the first company which uh, came to India. By the president. Here is the name, Malcolm E. Michael. That's his name. And this is how ships used to be loaded manually, with slings picking up each crate and putting it into the ship. And therefore, it was a tedious process. Now, if you look at it, uh, containerization evolved. And then thereafter, his main challenge was the containers to standardize everything. So, was the containers to standardize here, container sizes to standardize here. Then the biggest challenge was how to standardize the equipment to handle these containers. So then he standardized forklifts, he standardized cranes, he standardized balotis, he standardized uh, you know uh, top holders, all those equipment. It was a big part of us. He finally, unfortunately, died in 2001. But his name is mentioned in the Hall of Fame. These were uh, the developments in shipping. Initially, we had smaller ships of 1,700 containers. Then we went on to 2,300 containers. Then 3,200 containers on a ship. Then about 4,500, 6,000 plus, 8,000 plus, and then 11,000 plus. Can anybody take a guess what is the biggest ship today? Get that container later. And when we talk of capacity, we talk in terms of TUs, never in 40 minutes. The length of this vessel is 400 meters. Even the Statue of Liberty is 93 meters. The London Eye is 135 meters. The Airbus is only 73 meters. Even the Eiffel Tower is 324 meters. You can put one full Eiffel Tower on the ship. It's that way. And still there will be 60 meters space left. And each of the ships can run at 23 knots. One knot is equal to 1.8 kilometers. So the speed would be about 43 kilometers per hour. And each ship costs dollars 190 million. If you multiply it and convert it even at the rate of 60, it comes to 1200 crores. Are, are still not that big, uh, that huge that they can take such massive ships. These ships go to all European and, and US ports. Even Singapore, China. Yeah, even Singapore, Hong Kong, China, sir. Today, uh, out of the first top ten ports, China is top uh, seven ports in terms of number of TUs handled. China comes. They are ports of Shanghai, they are ports of Dalian, they are ports of Ningbo, they all appear in that list of them. Busan is also there in that. Singapore is there. Hong Kong is there. Hong Kong now is again a part of China, so that is the Chinese world. So out of, out of the first top ten, there are about seven of them which are Chinese ports, so you can imagine. And our top port is Navasheva. And you know what's the position of Navasheva? 33rd position. Uh, today, Singapore, uh, Shanghai has overtaken Singapore also. Shanghai is at number one. Shanghai handles somewhere around 31 million TUs. And Navasheva handles 4 million. See, see the different ten percent. I'll show you the figures also. Man, is when I see the 
talk with them the rates and Concord gives you what is known as a rate receipt. R. Ek LR ho kya? Ek R. Then you go and contact the shipping line and you negotiate the rate for Navashiva Durban. And you get what is known as bill of lading. And then again, you negotiate a rate from Durban to Pretoria for the road or the rail transport and you again get the LR. Four negotiations. Now tell me as a manufacturer or as an exporter, do you have the time or do you have the expertise to do all this? No. Because everybody will know that you do not have the expertise and will therefore pad up their amounts and charge you extra. And therefore at every step you are paying more. And that is where the freight forward is coming. They help you. But here again, if you are intelligent, you can save your money. If you are not, they'll, they'll help you to help themselves. Bill of lading ke piche jo clauses likhe hote hain wo kabhi padhe agar aap wo padhenge to aap export karna chahoge very true because everything there favors the carrier by and large there is also a clause there which says, as to near she may get, a vessel is called a she on this. Um, why it's called a she, there is also a story behind it because there are always men on board the ship. So she is surrounded by men. Uh, she is always painted up. She is always decked up. So all that. Uh, now there, if you look at it. Uh, it says, as to near as she may get, which means that suppose if the vessel is in disaster, the vessel captain to save the ship has the right to divert the ship and go to any nearest port and discharge your car. This guy means that if आपका कार को से जर्मनी में हैंबर्ग जा रहा है या बेल्जियम में एंटवर्क जा रहा है बट समवेयर नियर यूके द वेसल डेवलप्स अ प्रॉब्लम द वेसल विल गो टू द नियरेस्ट पोर्ट इट कुड बी फिलेक्सटो इट कुड बी साउथहैम्पटन इट कुड बी थेम्स पोर्ट एंड इट विल ड्रॉप ऑफ द कार को देयर एंड देन गोइंग फॉर इट यस द ओनली थिंग इज the movement from there to the final place will be to the account of the shipping fee. Because your bill of lading says port of discharge is anchored, and therefore they are obliged to give you the container back. So if there are all clauses. You go through your LIC policy, the clauses will never take the LIC policy again. Go through many claims. Go through anything. Aap railway receipt padlo, aap lorry receipt padlo, kuch bhi padlo. They are all skewed. So multi-model, there is a single contract. So which means, suppose if we go to this same example, in multimodal, the freight forwarder will give you a bill of lading which will show place of receipt of goods. A column of that place of receipt of goods. It will be showing as Bivadi. Your port of loading will show as Navashiva. Your port of discharge will show as Durban. And your final place, 
you must always have a true transport bill of ladings. Now, bill of ladings again have different names. And that's a topic in itself on which uh, I normally uh, conduct workshops for about three and a half hours on bits of political. On in good terms also I do it again for three, three and a half hours. That's again a very topic. Through transport or combined transport or multimodal transport bill of lading are the same thing. Just different names. Through transport, okay. multimodal transport, okay. or combined transport bill of lading okay. are one and the same. Okay. Because if you see the meanings, what is through transport? Through transport means it is through from one place, origin point A to destination point B. Okay. Combined transport says that it is from point A to point B, but it is using combined modes of transport. And multimodal also. So your multimodal transport PL or your through transport PL or combined transport PL is one and the same. But you must ensure that your PL mentions as the place of delivery the same place as is mentioned in your LC or by the buyer. Now, I am I dealt with the import shipment, Bahasayati. Or ICD TKD me, ICD Parparganj me, wo gai. Unfortunately, our overseas agent ne, uspe ICD Parparganj place of delivery na likkar, usne delhi. The importer came to me and said, I am not going to take the delivery in ICD TKD. Hey, Parparganj. The place of delivery is written as Delhi. Please give me the container at Sadar Bazaar. We were caught. We didn't know what to do. We tried to tell him that no, it is a mistake, it's an error, and it has come to Patwargan, and that is the final place where you have to take the delivery. He argued out, he did not take the delivery the detention and demerit charges started going up. We were concerned. And we told our overseas agents that you have to pay for it. And if you have to pay for it, we will pay for it. But that was not the solution. Uh, ultimately, he started calling me up in the nights. And uh, he threatened me. First he said, I'll take you to court, and then he said, I'll get you picked up from your house. And the third he said, I'll, I'll, I'll get you killed. So, I'm in jail, ultimately, I also had a day when I said, I'll do anything that you do with me, and I'll do anything that you do with me. And I said, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to report this to the police station, that if something happens to me, as from now, you are, are responsible because you are threatened. So then he quieted down, he discussed it with his owner. His owner came to my office, he was a very young person. And this gentleman was working for him. He understood it. And guess what? He paid 60,000 of debt, detention and demerit and took the delivery of because he wanted the goods made. I said, no, he's in court. He's been in two years. He's been in a container for two years. Okay, my agents will pay the money. That is not a problem. Because we have held them responsible. But two years, you don't have goods. Now, he was a trader, so obviously he needed goods. So he understood the gravity of the situation and took the delivery. But why I'm sharing this story with you is that one small mistake is because of it. अगर वो आड़ जाता, तो as a right I had to give him delivery and send him. He's right. इसे दिल्ली में मांग रहा हूँ तो मैं मैं कौन सा आदमी दिल्ली मांग रहा हूँ? आपका place of delivery दिल्ली लिखा हुआ है. 
So please be very, very careful that way you write. It once happened with another importer. They were sending it to uh, Nahar Spinning. They were importing. Nahar Spinning ke Himachal mein do factories. Ek south mein hai, ek bilkul north mein hai, Tikri Khas mein. Aur us mein likha wa the place of delivery Himachal from there. So Nahar said, I will take it at my factory at Tikri Khas because I need the goods there at this point. And UK say I and they sent him a bill of 70,000 rupees for transportation. Because there was a hilly terrain, it was the same state, but because of hilly terrain, the transportation costs were higher, unions controlled rates there, and the shipper had to pay 70,000. <coughs> so these are some avoidables which you must always look into that always give delivery at the IC or depending upon your NCO terms negotiated with your buyer. Responsibility, single no noted point for ban jati hai. Aap say freight forwarders kitne use karte hai. I think sub use karte hai. Aap ne kabhi ye check kiya hai ki jo aap ko BL milta hai insured Normally we think it's insured. You think it is insured? I think yeah, because I had a issue uh, some time uh, to the back. So that to a measure is insured. It is insured. It is insured. You're lucky if it was. It was written. It was written on the wheel basically. We have, we have checked. Party. By default, it is not until or unless you are registered as a multimodal transport operator with the government of India. And the registering authority is Directorate General of Shipping, Mumbai. And Directorate General of Shipping ke kuch rules wo bhi main aapke saath share kar sakta. But I'll not go into all those details because of time factor. वो ये कहते हैं कि multimodal transport operator वही बन सकता है जिसके कम से कम दो विदेश, दो different countries में agents हों. Number one. Number two, he should have been in business for at least three years. Number three, a chartered accountant should certify the balance sheet and the profit and loss account. And, and that will be submitted to the authorities. Number four, jo agent hai aapka bahar, he should be an agent and you should be acting as a principal because you are exporting. When you are exporting to him, you are a principal and he is an agent. It should not be the other way around, ki wo principal hai aur aap uske agent hai India mein aur aap kaho ki mera, mera to uske saath tie up hai. No, that is not done. And number five, is that they will ensure that the freight forwarder gives an insurance policy before a multimodal transport uh, yeah, license is given. But there was a theft, a theft in the US way out of shipping company basically. And my buyer got to the it. There was theft in the U.S. warehouse of the shipping company. Okay. And what about the thing? The warehouse must be insured. The warehouse must be insured. The wheel also. The shipping line would have, uh, I mean, obviously, uh, insured the warehouse because it was the shipping line's warehouse. Mm -hmm. Shipping lines all safe, no problem. Wo other baroso crore ek jaas pe kare sakte hain. So a few crores for insurance makes no difference. They always do. Now my next question is, ki aapko pata kaise chalega 
कि ये पीएल जो है ये इंश्योर्ड है कि नहीं तो पीएल्स तो बहुत मिल जाते हैं सर यू गोट टू चाइना if shipping line is not doing any transportation on any other mode other than sea why will they give you a multi mode and take on the responsibility so if the shipping line is going from durban uh, from navasheva to durban they will give you a port to port pl which will be that means their responsibility begins at navasheva etc whereas the freight forwarder or the consolidator who gives you the pl will give you a through or a combined pl which will cover not only navasheva durban but wo pure journey ko cover kare that's i was uh, about to ask you yeah. would you was always differentiate between this chinese pl and a genuine pl yeah now how do you ensure that the pl is insured In general, beer. The freight forwarders beer. <coughs> you see, wherever, where on the right hand side, naam likha rehta hai, ya to shipping line ka ya freight forwarder ka. Uski niche ek box rehti hai. Us box me, uska MTO registration number hai. If it says MTO registration number so and so, dated so and so. he cannot put in that registration number if he is not registered with the director general of shipping and if he is registered with the director general of shipping mumbai then it is sure that that pl is insured because the mto license otherwise will not be given to him until unless that is the insurance covers so so this means by default all multi model pls are insured Only if they have that endorsement on it. But all the deals have empty numbers. No, no, no. Not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary. So the MTOs, MTOs, MTO number indicates that it's insured. Indicates that it's insured. Yeah, and, and otherwise, how? Many otherwise, I could be using my partner's BL, which is not insured. Who stops me from using my partner's BL? If my partner says you can use it, if my partner gives me his BL and says okay for every BL that you use of mine, you give me fifteen dollars for usage, he is happy. I don't have my own BL. I I I don't have three years of experience. I do not have two counterparts outside. and otherwise even i do not fulfill all the regulations so why won't i do somebody else which is not in shape so you really should miss arun's show your father will be satisfied with this It's a topic in itself because these BLs are covered by certain rules. Previously, there were the Warsaw rules, then came the Hague rules, then came the Hague Whiskey rules, etc., in which the liability is limited. Therefore, if you take an insurance cover and you know what is the liability of coverage, what is the extent of coverage?
Because normally, if I mistake not, the liability is 2 SDR per kg. And 1 SDR is almost equivalent to a dollar per kg. Okay. SDR is Whereas your goods could be not more expensive. And they will be the same trend, like uh, a few years back, they were just fired at uh, Active Lagabad. I took Lagabad about two, three years ago. Yes. <coughs> and uh, the multi-motor, they did not cover it because the goods had not been stuck into a Okay. But the uh, uh, normal transit insurance would have covered it because it's from our warehouse to the buyer's warehouse. So it's always better to have insurance. You see, because uh, a container corporation will give you a very little amount. 50 per kg. Fixed. And usme, and usme, mujhe yaad hai ki kafi Muradabad shippers ka tarbo tha usme. And uh, they got very little. Very little pricing. Okay. The amount is not yet being paid. Because obviously the shipper could have said that this should be done. So, but the airline covered the air cargo to, to a large extent that. So, I believe it covers for at least when uh, somebody buy a symptom air shipment, it was around uh, uh, 19,000 dollars. So, but my children said in check that we were traveling uh, the the cargo person, he said that it's covered for 15,000 children, you don't have to worry about 4,000 children, you can send the cargo to the Is it true? Is it no, I just sent the it cargo to I will have to go through those rules because I'm not an expert on air cargo. Okay. But I'll, I'll check it out definitely. Okay. And uh, you can give me your uh, name and uh, number and I'll, I'll get back to you with the kids, 100%. That's a good question. Even if the cargo is lost, uh, not lost, fine. Lost meaning, you see, as I mentioned, the other clause, there is also a clause that if a vessel is in distress, then the master of the ship to save the crew and the vessel has the right to throw the cargo over, overboard into the sea as much as is necessary to save the ship. It may be a certain fraction, it could be more. And then in shipping law they declare what is known as general average which again is an extended topic. So they de declare a general average and then the shipper gets paid as per the general average. Terms is FOB. It's a wrong term. It's a wrong term. FOB is a term which is used only for sea transport. That's all. Wherever multimodal transport is there, FOB is not the right term. All our exporting fraternity still continues using FOB, CFR, CIF. But please do remember, as per the Info Terms 2010, FOB, FAS, that is free alongside the vessel, CFR, cost and freight, and CIF, cost insurance and freight, are four terms which are used for only sea transport. And the rest of the seven terms are used for any mode of transport. FOR use for any, anything? Sorry? FOR. FOR? FOR. There is no such term as FOR in Codex 2010. Yeah. 
That is free on rail. That's for domestic. Now, as I said, FOB is not the right term. The right term for containerized cargo if freight is payable at destination. That means you are not responsible to pay the freight. And which happens in nomination cargoes is FCA. Free carrier. And FCA bracket designated place at origin. So like it will say FCA bracket ICD TKD New Delhi. So which means in FCA the cost and the risk both pass on at the same place. That is the moment you hand over the cargo to the nominated agent at ICD TKD custom cleared. The risk and the cost both pass on to the buyer. If something happens thereafter, because you will get a receipt saying the cargo has been handled. And if you do not get a receipt, please take it. Because that is the only proof that the cargo was handed over on the 5th of May at 1400 hours. If something happens at 1600 hours, sorry, the liability passes. So please always use FCA. And when you use FCA, ICD, Delhi, or ICD, TKD, which is always the best thing to use, then the rail transportation from Delhi to Navasheva will also be your consignment. Most of the cases you have a FOB Navasheva. Why? Because the buyer does not want to pay the extra rail freight from Delhi to Navasheva. And, and, and you are paying for it. <laughs> Why don't you negotiate a, rate, a term FCA, ICD, TKD? And also the, uh, the, the handling charges at, uh, at the seaport, they also want to over the uh, DLS FOB is moving. Where does the cost end in FOB? FOB is always normally used for loose cargo or for machinery etc. Machinery, equipment etc. The difference between FAS and FOB is that FAS is free alongside. That means it is not loaded onto the ship. Whereas FOB is loaded onto the ship. So the loading cost also is on your account. The cost and the risk only passes on to the buyer after it has been loaded on the ship. So the TLC, or TLC, is also on your account. Yes. Why do you want to pay for this? You, you pay for the port TLC also, you pay for the inland haulage also. What? But can we include that into the cost of the loading? Not necessarily the competition level of the ticket. But if you charge the buyer, you can do it. I cannot fight with the missing Most of the agents are nominated, so they have a fixed price. But the thing is that. Nominated will be It's a per seat will come for the original date. Sometimes it's 300, 3000. It's come down to 3000 per seat. Try and negotiate with them. Try and tell them that you would like to have it FCA. Sir, I have a Sir, why don't you also educate them for once? That I have also learned a little bit about Incoterms 2010, and FOB is not the right term for containerized car. If you want, I can try and get you an extract from the book published by International Chambers of
but then if the trend is like if they are if they are saving that money, then why will they agree to change it to something else? You see, it's the same old story. Either we change or make them change. No, only only when we negotiate. And if we if we don't change, then we have no right to crib. Then we keep uh, keep paying whatever charges are there. So we also, you see, I can appreciate your concern. I know the cargoes are nominated. I appreciate your concern. After concern, I may try to say, "Boy, you must try to raise the money. Try to change the law. I agree to all that stuff. But if you try to details, then." और अगर आप उसको कन्विंस कर दें कि एफ ओ बी इज नॉट द राइट टर्म टू बी यूज डोंट यू थिंक एनी गुड क्लाइंट हु इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग विल ऑल्सो से यस पर हैव साइन यूजिंग द रॉन्ग टर्म माई सर सो वी ऑल्सो नीड टू एजुकेट आर क्लाइंट इफ ही इज यूजिंग एड एज ए नॉमिनेशन एफ ओ बी नावा शेवा दैट मीन्स ही ऑल्सो डज नॉट नो That for containerized cargo, FCA is the right term, so, and so, not FOC. So, so if we write FCA in our shiva, then the uh, port charges, the the terminal handling charges will pass on to the client. You see, in FCA, where does the cost and the risk end? The cost and the risk ends when the cargo is handed over, custom cleared to the carrier. Yes. The carrier could be a shipping line. The carrier could be a airline. A carrier could be a freight forwarder. A carrier could be a multimodal transport operator. A carrier could be a NVOCC. Any any one of these are known as carriers. But afterwards, they put the connection with the fee. Sorry. They put the connection with the fee. Fifty dollars. Ah. Like if we hand over to the freight forwarder, ah, they put that to the connection with the fee. No, VGM exists. And the what is VGM? Verified cross pass. And why did VGM come into force? What is SOLAS? SOLAS is nothing else but safety of life at sea. That's a convention. It's an international convention. they saw that many a times what happens is in countries like africa or in latin american countries and a lot of people may not be only from india maybe from other parts of the world where the cargo is heavy say the stone say marble blocks etc or granite blocks You put in in a 24 ton capacity container. 24 ton is a gross payload, so you minus the uh, the tear weight of the container, which is normally 2.3 to 2.5 tons. So, आपका जो cargo load जा सकता है उसमें 21.5 टन जा सकता है उससे ज़्यादा नहीं जा सकता. Legal. People used to under declare it and put in 27 tons. Now the cargo reaches a destination. Gross payload लिखा हुआ है 24 टन. Documents भी वहीं दिखा रहा है. Crane ने pickup किया. Crane की capacity है 25 टन. Legitimately 24 टन उठा लेगी. 10 साल से crane चल रही है. Wear and tear हो गया. Crane की capacity भी कम हो गई. 24 से 22 टन आ गए. 21 टन तक आ गए. और उसने 28 टन तक container में. The container comes down. The container buckles. The cargo breaks, and by chance, if there is some manpower or some labor standing there with the crane, the guy gets smashed. So there were a lot of such cases where they saw that a lot of accidents had taken place, and they said. We have to put an end to it, and therefore they brought in. No, 
I'm still half the question is answered that why verified gross mass. I still haven't answered whether it's genuine charges or not. Okay. Uh, so verified gross mass is the IR. And they made it mandatory that every container go before it is sent out by rail, if it goes from ICT TKD, will be weighed on a weighing machine. There are two procedures. I've got that at the end of the slide. Uh, method 1, method 2. Method 1 is for the ICD, method 2 is at the exporter's uh, warehouse. But if that you have a loose, uh, loose car car, basically, huh. $20 is a full container charges or what? Okay. Good or they are just, uh, just making the money out, out of it basically, charging $20 to you each know? LCL. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know actual charges? Actual charges? I'm, I'm going to be shot down because everything is being video recorded. Uh, the actual charges are nothing more than 900 to 1,000 dollars. So if you are, say if for an LCL you are being charged 20 dollars for your shipment, और आप ये सोच लीजिए अगर उस कंटेनर में सात बियर हैं 140 नॉट इनटू 60 8400 माइनस 900 और 1000 7400 नेट नेट प्रॉफिट सॉरी Sorry, you will have to take it up. So, and you agree. So we cannot do why we why can't you tell the buyer that the official charges for a full container 20 foot is 900 rupees or a thousand rupees? How do we know? Yeah, because freight forward is Sir, starting as a receipt. Sir, receipt 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 so the onus is on us to prove that sorry, what is being done to us is wrong. We don't mind making him making a little bit of money here and there. Instead of twenty dollars, if he charges us say seven dollars, which seven into sixty will be four twenty. Four twenty into seven will still be twenty eight hundred. He's still making money. But if it comes to six or seven dollars, no, no, even it won't hit you so much, as much as twenty dollars hits. The combination should not be more than three thousand twenty-five hundred. Yes. 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 Y
वो आगे नहीं लड़ते एक और तरीका भी तो है ट्वेंटी नाइन सी के ऊपर फोर्टी मीटर में भेजेंगे वो लोग एंड ट्रू इट ट्वेंटी मीटर कितने बनाएंगे ओके आई एम नॉट से इट्स हंड्रेड परसेंट गोइंग टू हैपन बट अगर उसी क्लाइंट के दो सप्लायर्स यहाँ से हैं और दोनों से उसको मेल चली गई ही विल डेफिनेटली से दे समथिंग सर अगर आपके ऑफिस में कुछ गलती होती है और एक बार ही कोई किसी ने आके बता दिया आप कहोगे ठीक है आप इग्नोर भी कर दो बट अगर दो तीन बंदों ने आके बता दिया एक बार ही तो आपका भी खान धमकेगा कि लेट मी इन्वेस्टिगेट इनटू इट मे बी देर इज ट्रूथ बिहाइंड वन हैज टू कीप ऑन परसू आई नो इसका कोई इमीजिएट सोल्यूशन नहीं है मैं और हैं थ्री आप में से कितने सज्जन लोगों ने आप में से कितने लोगों ने कभी जाके शिपिंग लाइन के वेबसाइट पे चार्जेस देखे गुड गुड एवरी शिपिंग लाइन टुडे मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर ओपन एंड दे हैव वॉट चार्जेस आर आर एस बी DNK is tank, tank containers. I'll I'll come to those also. Yeah, can you uh, keep going down, sir? Uh, equipment detention. This is free time for the purchases. Okay. Uh, can you go to that other ones in North India? Let's try that out. Which may be a charge? Here, whether it is gross or it is cargo, that makes a difference. Because, आप आपने सोचा मैंने as इक्कीस टन डाला है, right? Uh, or uh, say sixteen tons. The container tear weight is two point five tons. Eighteen point five. It might go into the next bracket. Say, let's pick up that between seven point seven and seventeen point seven. Your cargo weight is fifteen tons. Fifteen tons plus two point three makes it seventeen point three. Suppose if your cargo weight goes to fifteen point five, fifteen point five plus two point three makes it seventeen. रेट That is gross. और इसमें नीचे भी अगर आप देंगे सर जो जो मुझे पसंद आया वो मैंने लगा दिया कंसॉलिडेटर विल टेक वन मास्टर बी एल फ्रॉम द शिपिंग लाइन एंड ही विल पे थ्री थाउजेंड उसमें शिपर होगा कंसॉलिडेटर का नाम और कंसाइनी होगा उसका काउंटर पार्ट डेस्टिनेशन Correct, sir. Correct. He pays three thousand. He's got seven of you yes. loading with him. Which was which? He which charges three thousand five hundred per BL into seven. Into seven. Yes. But साथ में एक एक उनका वो ये होता है consolidation charges. वो भी सबसे पच्चीस सौ रजार करते हैं. Okay. So you think uh, what is consolidation charges, sir? 
कंसोलिडेशन में क्या क्या आएगा यू सी इफ यू नो ऑल दी शिपिंग टर्म देन यू कैन कैच दम कंसोलिडेशन में आपका एक आएगा कि सातों का डिफरेंट टाइम्स पे माल आया तो थोड़ा बहुत वेयर हाउस चार्ज लगे and he takes the warehouse on a monthly basis for which he's paying usko aap apportion kar do kitna aayega nominal plus the warehouse that he has would be either 100 square meters or 200 square meters and the cargo space that the cargo will take will be uh 8 feet by 8 feet अगर सोच लो कि आठ फीट स्टैकिंग भी नहीं करते आप चार फीट भी करते हैं तो उसका डबल हो जाएगा सो योर ट्वेंटी फीट विल बिकम फोर्टी फीट इंटू फोर इंटू एट तो दैट विल बी योर क्यूबिक बट द चार्ज ऑन स्क्वायर सो ट्वेंटी इंटू एट वन सिक्सटी स्क्वायर फीट वन सिक्सटी आई जस्ट है बेसिक क्वेश्चन लाइक वी आर सींग दीज चार्जेस योर Now, if we were to confront any freight forwarder that you know APL website says so and so charges, so wouldn't he say this is like my cost? I have to add my margins to it, and that's he's how I'm going to make said, money. So you tell him charges. fair enough. You have to add your margins to it. Where is all the transparency gone then? Today everybody is talking about transparency. We do not mind you making a profit. You are there in in the business for profit. We are also in the business for profit. We also make profit. You also make profit, as long as the profit is justifiable. It is fine. This is the APL website. You cannot say you pay them more. This is their website, right? Or any line that you use, the shipping line there. Right. Right. Uska website kholi gaya. Seventy-three thousand, three thousand, three thousand is by and large the maximum. That is shipping line. But that is the problem. 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 सर एक बार आप मेरी बात सुन लीजिए एक बार आप मेरी बात कहीं भी नहीं है एक बार मेरी बात सुन लीजिए यू सिट डाउन विद वन फ्रूट टू हिम दैट यू पे 3000 यू हैव सेवन शिपर्स इन दिस यू आर चार्जिंग 21000 प्लस यू हैव चार्जेस कंसोलिडेशन चार्जेस व्हिच इज 2500 Now, when you are stuffing a container, the maximum that you pay to ICD or CFS authorities is somewhere around four thousand, four thousand five hundred rupees for a twenty. चलो ये भी मान लिया कि आपने अपना warehouse लिया हुआ है, उस पर थोड़ा सा warehousing का आपका expenditure आ गया. Say another two thousand. I'm taking an outside figure. Six thousand five hundred. Six thousand five hundred divided by seven. Nine hundred. As it is nine hundred, you're charging us two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred into seven is seventeen thousand five hundred. Seventeen thousand five hundred of this plus on the bigger, plus on the freight. सिर्फ आइसक्रीम खा रहे क्रीम तो वही खा रहे हैं। You see, there's nothing wrong in profiteering from business. कोई भी लॉस में नहीं करेगा। कई लोग कहते हैं कि वो इतना क्यों चार्ज करता है? उसको भी तीन हजार डिवाइडेड बाय सेवेन चार्ज करना चाहिए। He also has an infrastructure. He also has an office, but as long as the charges are reasonable. Uh, what do you think? What the job of official charges? Is it not the agency charges, nomination charges? Who is taking it? That's it. Who is taking it? That's it. So if you sit down with him and prove it to him, he has to do a continuous one. Not come on. Not come on. And then he will realize that these guys know all the tricks now. They have caught me today. 
invade them the carrying capacity of the container. इसी वजह से ये बीजीए उन्होंने देखा कि कि उनको सही पता चल जाए कि अंदर कार्बो वेट कितना है अगर किसी ने सताईस टन डाल दिया सर राइट और डिक्लेयर कर दिया उसने 21.5 बट जब वीजीएम लिया जाएगा तो आपका आएगा सताईस प्लस टू टू पॉइंट थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री तो एकदम रिजेक्ट हो जाएगा बिकॉज द प्लेट देयर रीच ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम्स क्रॉस वीजीएम शुड ऑलवेज इट इज अ लोकल चार्ज देयर फोर लेजिटिमेट इन माई ओपिनियन इट शुड बी ऑलवेज There is nothing. I, at least I am not aware. I am. I am learning something new today. No, so uh, so last you will find this on the JPL website. Yeah, first time. Yeah. So last week. Which are the issues? That is I I S P S C for mistake. International Security Board Sacha. That they have started living because of the piracy and all that, and they take a additional insurance covers and you know have people on board to ward off these pirate pirates. So they charge about roughly six dollars per day. वो ISPS करके लग गया है। अब वो आपको पता नहीं होगा क्योंकि वो invoice तो free for what they are charging. With the customs in the U.S., you see what is A A C D? A C D is Advanced Cargo Declaration. U.S.A. became very stiff in its regulations after the episode. What should be the so? They wanted to check that no such cargo comes into the country, which is damaging to the country, mainly arms, ammunition, etc. So, जहाँ पर भी उनको doubt होगा, वो immediately consignee को contact करेंगे. They will verify the credentials of the consignee, and then only give an okay. The okay normally comes within 48 hours, and then the container is loaded. If that permission does not come, the container. Or even if by chance the container gets loaded, kalti se, it will go to the port and it will not be offloaded there. It will be sent back. So so strange. Also, minus how to forwarding charges. How to get good rates? Well, sir, uh, <laughs> that comes with a lot of things. That comes with one is your experience of negotiation. Uh, one is even I would say a little bit of volumes. अगर आपके पास regular shipments रहेंगी, तो sir आप negotiation power आपकी And I would say, if your CIF shipments are coming, and you are negotiating, so if someone gives you a rate of $35, and you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF shipper, you are not a CIF shipper. So, if you are not a CIF जब आप तीन से मंगवाएंगे तो आपको डिफरेंस कोई नहीं बट गेट दी टॉप प्लेयर्स अगेन माय इंसिस्टेंस देयर विल बी देयर माइट बी अ डॉलर और टू मोर देन दी अदर्स बट इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर बिकॉज़ दे आर सेफर बिकॉज़ दे आर डूइंग सो मच ऑफ बिजनेस दे नॉर्मली विल नॉट डू एनीथिंग रॉ No, sir, sir, they will not listen to you. You are nominated. No, 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 no
from a smaller forwarder, we are getting services. He will listen to us, he will give us the report. And every day we are getting reports, okay, this is the position of the car. For a bigger, we have to wait and we have to ask if and mail for the status. And then as they rinse and fancy, they reply to us. This is a problem with the Okay. Uh, can you be kind enough in sharing with me the name of the forwarder that you are using? Sir, I am doing, I have to be using uh, several of them. Like? ACTL, okay. ACTL is running this yard at Faridabad. You have gone to the absolute big forwarders. They won't listen. They won't listen. It's something like a big fish always gobbles up a small fish. Right? You you go to a big fish, he's not interested. Because your cargo is not even 0.001% of this one. But go to somebody to whom it matters. To somebody who's Indian. You see, for them it does not matter, I tell you why. They thrive on nominations. Their earning is on nominations. They are not bothered about this little Indian, Indian business. But there are other forwarders, Indian who are very good, who have been in the market for at least 20, 25, 30 years. Okay, I can tell you the names. All, all neutral names. All neutral names. Uh, I can, and I can assure you, I don't get any kickbacks from any one of them. Uh, one of them is all One another one is C Sky. Another one is C P World. C P <laughs> well, I'll, I'm telling you all the names whom, sir, I've been, okay, I may have been out of shipping now for three years, but before that, I was dealing with all these people myself. I have given them shipments, I have dealt with them. So we have all the very, so CP Wednesday, many traffic out here, I have had one very bad experience. But the thing that otherwise they are very good for the port I was sending to. They are they are like transit side very good. They they are very good. Once time one time they release food the cargo. The cargo is delayed by one and a half months. Then another one is AMI. AMI. Yeah. This is the nice one. Yeah. I mean this is Java. Yes. Because he himself is a nice one. Who? If he is a person. <coughs> so these are some names which come to my mind. There are a lot of others also in the market. These are not exactly agents. These are freight forwarders. They are freight forwarders, they are consolidators. Yes. Uh, each one of them must be at least having Zada uh, to the major destinations. They have a consult every week. And, 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 and they service about at least 20, 25 destinations. I think their volumes would be anywhere in the region of, I may be wrong still, 200, 250 containers per month. They are not 
का वो जो स्ट्रीम है ये था तो फिर सर्विस देनी बंद हो गई मैंने आपके वो प्रोडक्शनिज्म दी फिर क्या होता है बट आई हैव ऑब्जर्व टू माय एक्सपीरियंसेस कि आपको अपने लेवल का विजन होना है जो आपको सुने उसको उसका बिजनेस को बड़ा नहीं है आप उसको आपका बिजनेस बेशक छोटा है आप एक कंटेनर में नहीं चलते बट उसके लिए वो एक कंटेनर फॉर नहीं पड़ता सो दोस्त कैन ऑफ पीपल दिस इज वेरी यानी कि पे देम ऑन टाइम पे देम गुड उनका फोन आने से पहले आपकी पेमेंट उनके खाते में ट्रांसफर होता है या फिर आप जीएस हो जाते हैं देन आई फाइंड यू गेट रियली गुड सर्विस गुड रेट्स श्योर श्योर बिकॉज़ ही हैज द फायर इन द बेली टू बी कंपनी आई एग्री विद यू my question to you sir is talking from experience is he a consolidated no he's not even mr chawla is not himself consolidated for everything even all cargo ha cpu only no mr chawla ki jo baat kar rahe hain wo koi aur hai ha amiya amiya AMI India is a wing of AMI Belgium. AMI Belgium was the forwarding wing of CMB, and I have worked in both these companies long ago. Then AMI Belgium closed down. Usme se fir AMI India nikla, AMI Dubai nikla, or AMI in Africa. They are very strong in Africa. They have got over 100 years presence in Africa. They are very very strong. So my question is, sir, if he is consolidated, he is not doing anything. So this means that he is not giving any consolidator a car. Right? Which means he is going to issue you a house bill. Right? और उनका इंटरनल अरेंजमेंट अपना हाउस बियर का होगा विच मीन्स वेन योर बायर गोज देयर यू विल हैव टू टू एजेंट्स एक बंदा उसको एनओसी देगा और दूसरा बंदा उसको कार को डिलीवरी देगा और एनओसी के चार्जेस लगेंगे अगर आप में से कोई इंपोर्ट करता है तो आपने ये चार्जेस झेले होंगे कई बार बिकॉज Let me give you a small example, sir. मेरे पास दस CBM का कार वो है, इनके पास बारह CBM पड़ा हुआ है, और या मेरे पास सात है, इनके पास बारह है। हम आपस में एक दूसरे को जानते हैं, एक दूसरे से कार वो एक सेंड करते हैं, ताकि जल्दी निकल जाए सबके क्लाइंट्स कुछ हैं। इन्होंने बोला मैं अपना कंटेनर बंद कर रहा हूँ, मैंने इनको अपन इनके बाद 19 है। अब 19 से still not enough to fill up the container। पांच आपके पास हैं। इनको पता चला है, इन्होंने आपको बोला मैं अपना डब्बा बंद कर रहा हूँ, आप जल्दी भेजना है तो मेरे को दे दो। आपने भी दे दिया पांच। Now what happens is he will consign it to his agent there. You will consign it to your agent. Your agent will go to his agent for it. Which may NOC come in. You see, okay, in this particular case, you are handing it over to him. Say for instance, you hand it over to him. Five CBM, he has got six CBM, 11 CBM. That 11 CPM goes to him. Intermediary is okay. You have to send your agent, and you have to send your agent to the delivery. Normally what happens is, we have a small agent, that is a custom broker, normally a custom broker, and he approaches to like all cargo, and he gets a bill of all cargo and give it to us. Okay, I am going to make some money, and I am going to hand over your cargo, but I am a professional. I will handle all cargo or CP work in my professional way, and I will give you the service. This is what is happening. He is but not making, he is not issuing this uh, out here. Yeah. He is issuing the real of all cargo or something. Because he does not have his own. Yeah. yeah. And then we can talk about it. 
governor to take care of what he was saying, five years of child more. We have started taking trade certificates. Trade certificates. Every document comes with the trade certificates. And those You see, that is what I would also request you. All. When you export, you have a certificate or a mail mein le dijiye, what will be the destination charges which are going to be charged tomorrow. Yeah. So that tomorrow there is no surprises. Sir, the nomination agent doesn't tell the charges what are going to be charged over there. They say that they, they have their own time over there and that they don't have the idea. Their agent and the buyer knows what are the charges. Yeah, nomination agent nahi dega, sir. He is only sold to the buyer. <coughs> the, the, the buyer has told him, I give you so much of cargo from India. He says, happy. And you see, why the buyers don't take interest? Let me also take this. Because they get additional services from them at the destination port. He doesn't have space to keep the goods. He will tell him, don't worry, sir, I'll keep it for you for 10 days. I'll not charge you anything. So, you see, those are the extended services जो वो देते हैं उनको, और extended services अगर देते हैं, you see, somebody has to pay ना, it's either you or him. It's like a lot of imports come from China, and I know for sure because that the Indian freight forwarder has told. He says, China may put a freight forward up Nijake. Suppose Kiji up China may back answer. On Yake, he approached you and he quoted to you a rate of say ten dollars per CBM from Shanghai to India. You said, No, ten dollars is high. Somebody has already quoted me five dollars. Okay, I want a business, so I'll also quote you five. Five to Usnavi quote Kiana to get Terra Kia better. Sir, I will zero quote but I will do a recovery from there. He said, I will give you zero, what do you study? He will go there and go there and recover from there. That's it. That's what happens. One, somebody has to pay, sir. Lunch doesn't come free. Somebody pays for it. Uh, you, so you think that CIF are better negotiated? Yes, very much. Export CIF or CFR okay. and imports FO. My clients used to get, they used to get CIF. I converted them all to FO. And, and I told them that you will benefit with this. And say I used to get a, uh, uh, from a freight forwarder, I used to get a rate of say 35. I used to sell them 32, 33. And I used to tell them I'm making $7 per CPM from them. But on nothing else, I'm going to make. That's my bread and butter on the freight. All other charges will be transparent. And I'll give you in writing before your shipment comes, before I pick up your shipment. And I never got an extra penny bill. You see, if you have transparency with your clients, the clients also don't mind you making a little bit of money. As long as they genuinely feel that it's a lot of money. So, CIF is better for us and it's better for the importer. Sorry? CIF is better for us and it's better for the importer. Because you control it. If you import the goods, if you import when you are importing, yes. you are booking the cargo from here, sir. Yes. Say, for instance, I am a freight forwarder here in India. Right? Okay. You take a rate from me. I will tell you from Shanghai to Navasheva. I will charge you a freight rate of $25 per CPM. Okay. 
from Navasheva to Delhi, Patpardanj, I will charge you a haulage of so much time per CBA. I will charge you a deconsole charge of 1,000 rupees per shipment and I will charge you a real charge of 2,000 rupees per shipment. No other charge. Plus, of course, GST, which goes to the bank. Whereas in CIF, what happens is the shipper pays less freight and he says, from destination charge is not it's a CIF shipment. It's coming to you. Destination charges. Right? There will be a port congestion surcharge. There will be a deconsole charge. 2,500 rupees. There will be another charge. Are you want to see the charges? THC, Sare Cheso, W stroke M. That means weight or measurement, whichever gives higher revenue. Deacons, other after those CBM, teeth metric ton cargo hai. After that, there are those CBM for charge karo, okay? Three to 650 is more, so I'll charge you on metric ton. This is for import. This is for import. This is for import. This is for import. But you see all the charges that are there. The light is only the production. The consult charge is 1100 per CPM. But they have to have a good case. So, that is CPM container. Double basis. If it does not have a very regular volume, then it's better to do the SOP. Because then we will not be able to negotiate the charges. Then you will not be able to negotiate. What should be the genuine charges for, say, for a 5 or 10 CPM car? Of course. Push and free. All together, basically, from uh, basically. Ocean freight will depend. FOB, in case of FOB, <coughs> what should be our bill amount? Should be a genuine bill amount. Like, just the SMB amount, twenty thousand bill amount. That, this can be some good charges. Like, our real charges over, HP real charges over. If you can tell me the charges, I'll tell you what what should. Be. I don't have the second bill right here right now. Huh? I don't have the second bill right now. No, that which you have told me. Yeah, but you have LCL. 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 Yeah, it's, it's neither 20, neither 40. Yeah. It's nowhere. Yeah. Correct, correct. You know, in that, I request that you have to say. When you have orders, try and break them up for a full container. You have to buy it. Your relations, if this Hadoo say after that, you tell him that okay, I'll send you 27 CBM in one lot, I'll send you 15 CBM as LCM. So 27 CBM comes in a 20 footer. No, sir. No, sir. If you break it up, up to your LCL cost, they gave you a lot of comfort. Unfortunately, I don't have a board here, otherwise, I would have shown you the work. There is no problem, but that's it. So when you have two years, you have two custom clearance, you have two banking charges, and the same thing goes for the customer. For them, they have two custom clearance. They have two 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 Normally, in my opinion, it should be 750 rupees per CBM. 750 per CBM. 
No, it may be possible. Last few years, maybe things have changed. But when I was paying, I was paying, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What should be the Indian dollar college charges from Delhi to Bombay? Okay, it depends on the weight, sir. It depends on the weight. Sixty-fifteen, though, I don't know. Normal. There are different weight slabs, sir. Right. Uh, like you will get weight slab, carbo weight up to 17.7 plus 2.3 you have to add to 20 tons total weight. In case of LCL? Well, no, Tom, uh, 750, he has corrected me, it's 850. JNP, JNP to that, sir? What is that? In Delhi to Navashiva. Now, 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 now. For a full container? LCL. 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 Eleven hundred rupees from Delhi to GMP report, including the board charge, including the restaurant charge, everything, including the restaurant. Okay. And they are uh, space rank as well. And it also includes the TNC and the board. Yes. Is that justified? Yeah, that is justified. That is justified. That is justified. You see, exports may have normally in charges may dikkat nahi hai ki zada. Because they are all competing with each other. And, and they know instead of 1100, if I charge 1300 to my client, nobody is going to pay. Well, but right now, nomination is, we have a problem with the nomination. The nominations, yes, you have a problem. I've been charged 1400. You see, if you have a free hand, you will pay 1100. But if it is a nomination, the charges will be far more different. Are there issues with nomination? In the nomination, there are many issues, sir. I know. और ये आप लोगों को कठा होकर अपने बायस को थोड़ा बहुत एडुकेट करना पड़ेगा, थोड़ा बहुत पुश करना पड़ेगा, and I'm sure they are also sitting in the market. Yes. The cash or anything. You see, suppose if somebody gives you an additional service here and says, don't worry, I will charge your buyer, you say, I'm happy with that. आपको ये कहेंगे जब मैं बात कर रहा हूँ। You'll be also more than happy. ठीक है मेरा पायल वही कर रहा है। मेरे को क्या दिक्कत है? नहीं नॉमिनेशन इसलिए भी बाहर करते हैं जो यहाँ पे एक्सपोर्टर सब मानता हूँ कि सब चीजों का हल नहीं मिलेगा एक तरफ। क्योंकि जो प्रॉब्लम इतने सालों से चली आ रही है, वो ओवर टाइम तो खत्म होगी नहीं सर। ये अवेयरनेस है वो आगे � we have to put a full stop for it. Whatever you might say. You see, keep Delhi clean, keep Delhi clean. Okay. Awareness built up, Sheila Dixit started doing it. Tapka, up Jakarta now you see quite a few places in Delhi are clean. And they are always clean. Yes, or we be pura clean thing. There's lots more to be done. But this, all this awareness takes time. And all of you will have to join hands. Will have to take it up. Politely write to the shipper, uh, to your buyers. Keep taking it up with them once in a while. We still have this issue. Could you please intervene? Could you please help us out? It is your nominated forwarder. We have no other problems with this service. We only have problems with this. So, it's a competitive world. I'm sure you can understand. Someday, now, sir.
is it a valid term? They write not negotiable unless consigned to or it is a direct consign. No, I'll have to check. I'll be very honest. I need to check on that. I must open a PDA. PDA. Pre deposit account. With what? Why? Uh, you see, if you pay separately to Concord, then only the THC gets charged to you, the board THC, which is there on the website of the port. आप किसी पोर्ट के वेबसाइट पर भी चले जाएं, चाहे वो पेपावा हो, चाहे वो मुंद्रा हो, चाहे वो एनएसआईसीटी हो, जीटीआईएल हो, आप वो टाइप करके आप उसके वेबसाइट पर चले जाइए, उसमें उनके भी सारे चार्ज हैं। सो आपको पता चल जाएगा कि टर्मिनल हैंडलिंग चार्ज, उसमें दो चार्ज दिए होते हैं, एक सीएफएस, एक so CY charges will be applicable. If you have a CFS in the Navasheva, then that CFS will be called TLC. So you have to see that. If you have a inland college or TLC, or a railway freight or TLC, that will be far lesser than the inland college that you pay to the ship. And the difference is as much as 5,000 to 5,500 rupees per year. Uh, sent you the bill for TNC. Fair. That is fine. Because you are saving in that, sir. There is a lot of difference, sir. Five thousand. 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 Yes. The terminal handling charge or shipping line charge, does it cover the container shifting charge also? Because we haven't charged separately for the container shifting charge. Does it cover the container shifting charge? Very good question, sir. There are two THCs applicable for every export card. One THC is at the ICD or the CFS and one THC is the port PM. Now let me explain what is the difference. आपका कार को एक्सपोर्ट वेयरहाउस में जाता है, सीएफएस में या आईसी में, ऑफलोड हो जाता है वहाँ पर। The TNC and ICD or CFS covers the, it does not cover warehousing charges which are paid separately by Concord or CWC. It covers these stuffing charges. It covers bringing the empty to the stuffing point. So let me start from the first cycle. Bringing the empty to the stuffing point, stuffing, sealing, lifting the container, taking it to container yard, loaded container yard, taking it from the loaded container yard to the railway flat when the railway uh, when the railway is thing is formed, putting it onto the railway wagon. All that is T. Any movement that happens at the terminal is needed. The charges separate. We ask, we will ship after four days if you want. Very smart. Very smart. And get the container to the. Very smart. And 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 you will obviously say, who's going to wait for four days? Okay, I will take the bill. They say sometimes say that like in Delhi, they say if the line at the we need the container is not right. They say that the line at Concord. So we have to hire a trucker to bring the container to the airport and then we have to pay So you are a very educated person, why don't you tell them? Why, why don't you book it with a shipping line? Why don't you book it with a shipping line which has empty containers available at the place where you are stopping? No, I mean this was a fraction of what I had planned to do actually. I, I had about 120 slides. I've just covered about 20 of them.
Yeah, the, you see, uh, on input terms again, it's very important. Bits of lading, again, we, we could have it. Bits of lading could be half day, input terms could be half day, but on, on this uh, shipping aspect, and which will in, uh, which will include stuffing and everything. Not full day, but will be half, half day. Yeah, yeah, fair. 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 Yeah. 